What's going on here today? This is this is something that Coach E came up with, just getting girls in the gym regardless of AAU program. Um, we, we did something like this last summer, but he took it to a whole new level um, with just getting girls in the gym just hooping. No matter AAU affiliations, school affiliations, it don't matter. Uh, Coach E has a, a love for the game and working with kids, that's, that's second to none. Let's talk about E a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Coach Eric Cavill. Can you share with people out there, man, like how passionate and how committed he is to helping our young people? Uh, that's It comes straight from the heart. He just wants to, to work with kids and be around kids, not just his kids, not just kids, he, just any random kid he just wants to work with and, and get them better and help them achieve their goals, man. So it's, it's nice to see, like, this is... It's, he calls it his therapy. Like he, he just loves being in the gym with the kids, and no matter what's going on in the world, with his family, life, whatever, you know, this is his therapy, and and he and he loves giving back to the kids. How would our world be if we had ten more E's, man? I tell you, like the the love that he gives would, would, can solve a lot of issues if we spread it around uh, to other areas of the capital region. You know what I mean? Whether it's it's football, whether it's it's a program on Saturday mornings and things like that, more things for kids to do um, that they look forward to, you know, that, that will help them through the week. You know what I mean? I, th I think that, you know, there's there's somewhat of a void of things that are structured for kids in, in our area, and, and it's nice to see that he's one of the people who's, who's changing that. You know, just something for kids to do that's positive, they can look forward to, that'll help them power through these, these, these tough days that they face. This upcoming season, what is your organization offering our young people? Um, we, we got, we're, we're offering a, a traditional, non-traditional uh, travel ball experience, AAU as people like to call it. Um, every year we modify things um, to, to adapt to the, the culture and the environment of, of travel basketball, recruitment, development, and things like that. Uh, we're gonna have our Havoc Academy back. Grace Heaps is, is out at Canisius right now, so we have another idea that we're gonna do and make some modifications off that program. That's our program for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, we're tightening up things, and as well as the high schoolers, we're tightening up things as far as how we do things, and, and I'm excited about some of the new coaches, former college coaches that we're bringing into the program uh, to get things going, you know? How does it feel, man, to get new blood, man, into the sport, man, under the new, new regime you got coming, man? Um, no, nah, it's 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 we're always recruiting. I I think that you know, uh, most people don't remember this, but you know when City Rocks was expanding and doing their things, I was working with Jim Hart and Kev Shepard out in Western New York. So it's exciting for me personally to do more recruiting. Um, to Central and Western New York and bring some new kids in down in the Hudson Valley region. I know from a Havoc standpoint, in order to compete at the level that which we compete at, we have to get all the best girls from upstate New York playing together, competing together on various different levels, meaning our, our first teams, our second teams, and sometimes third teams, um, you know, but there's a place for everybody depending on which level that they work towards and they aspire to play at and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's fun getting out recruiting and. This is my first Saturday home in uh, since uh, early August, so it's it's kind of nice to get in here and check out E. That and I know he's been doing great things over here. Yes, man, I've been here all summer. I've been to a few of these open selects. I've been to a few of the things that he had. Um, he's really committed, and he gave the young people all summer really great opportunities for skill development, for growth, man, for a lot of things I've seen. Mm -hmm. You know, so where could people? tap into you at online or or offline to get involved or get their young people involved with your program this upcoming fall season? Um, we keep our events updated up on uh, BucketsPerformanceCenter.com um, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, me and my staff monitor those pretty well. Um, New York Havoc, Buckets Performance Center, Terrence Florence, um, or reach out to any of our coaches and we'll, we'll, we'll get you plugged in to what we got going on. And we have something just about every day um, that you can come to, uh, you know, October 15th. We got a big thing we're coming up. We got kids coming from all over the Northeast. Um, 
and uh, just check out the website. Thanks a lot, T, man. Um, I appreciate you guys, man, for continuing to give our young people opportunities and creating real lanes in the neighborhood. Absolutely. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks a lot, appreciate man. Appreciate you. Thanks.